Hi there! Welcome back to the scenic route with your girl Giovanna. How you all doing? So I have some self tape tips if you live in a small apartment and you need to figure out what to use as your backdrop. Don't use this unless they say you can use something with a little bit more of a print. I'm going to give you the rundown on how I do it. All right, guys, let's do this. Okay, so we're back here. <laughs> now that you saw everything, I told you that wasn't much. This apartment's tiny. Again, I've been safe in a beautiful little part of town that I love, that I can walk everywhere. And um, it used to take me not that long, yeah, right, like an hour to get to my auditions, even though they were like actually just like three to like six miles from most of the casting offices in the area um, on this side of the hill. Three to six miles tops ish unless i have to go over the hill which is where the studios are um and some casting offices but anyway i would still need to give myself an hour to an hour and a half to go three to six miles and if you need kilometers somebody help me um that's probably like nine kilometers tops to, and it would take an hour to an hour and a half. That's, That's why, why I decided to live here and it's been fantastic. It's been an amazing, amazing experience to be so close to my friends who were also just um, a few miles away. And so all of those reasons was why this apartment was a winner for me at the time. And again, I uh, moved in here by myself. And um, then I met Oscar. This one is meant for my actor friends, my aspiring actor friends who stumble upon this video and realize that this is part of it. And um, the sooner you get used to it being a part of it, the better off you are. Because I listen to a lot of casting directors and, um, you know, a lot of, you know, industry people talk about um what they want like the do's and don'ts that they prefer and every office is different um oftentimes they talk about you know what they want to see in auditions and what um they need to see right so i'll never forget i was in this webinar once they were asking the panel questions on you know do's and don'ts on audition tapes from home this one casting director goes well i really don't understand this whole curtain thing like why do you have a curtain why can't you just be on a bare backdrop and i was like excuse me excuse me do you know how us actors sometimes have to live in order to be in this city like i don't know if you realize that oftentimes our walls are jam-packed with stuff i need those books to refer to I, I i i i don't have a bare wall in my apartment i got three walls because one of them is um obviously the balcony door it's pretty large and i just remember being like oh my gosh some people just don't know what we go through like this is like a true heart to heart talking from an actor's perspective that um some people don't realize especially if you live in other parts of the country or the world i don't know i don't think she was from la no, because this is for my actors who want to know how i did this because um this has been a huge savior so so this is one backdrop obviously i already showed you the backdrop i usually always use right obviously it's a door there right so what i want to tell my actors is that you're probably going to need um a solid backdrop as you could tell every wall here is utilized like there's just no space um except for behind the bed but that's not really a good spot to like do your auditions so what i thought of one day because oscar Oscar used to have to like take out this like huge like backdrop shield that we had. I couldn't pick it up. He started working. He couldn't help me with the auditions as much. So I was like, I need something I can put up myself because I can't be dependent or reliant on anybody else. And so um, I came up with this idea. Look, so I hung up a curtain rod over a door, right? And you see these two. But also I have here tied with just like, you know, a ribbon. I have here a gray one 
So I've used that for my theatrical auditions because they want like something maybe a little more muted and then back here. So if I, you know, slide them all properly, I have a blue one, which I use for my commercial auditions because it's a little brighter. It pops a little more and I interchange these all depending on what my audition entails, whether I'm doing a YouTube um or whether i'm doing a live whatever the heck i'm doing yeah. yeah i mean oh my gosh this is my view guys i know it's a mess i try i used to keep it a lot neater everybody but dude with um packing and with the quarantine and i've just given up but everything has a place everything goes back to where it needs to go and so maybe if any casting director ever sees this you will now understand why the curtains because this is like the only solution um i have been able to come up with that works for me when i'm by myself and i don't have anyone to help me bring in the big backdrop a lot of casting directors are like you have to show like full bodies oh my gosh that's the worst when they make you show full bodies because if you zoom out enough the outside of these curtains comes out you already saw what the back of my door looks like this side is oscar's like um big equipment all the wires to make everything like stay put and it's such a headache because then it looks so unprofessional like at least with like one you know you don't know what's happening behind there or behind the other side and at least like you know it looks a little more professional but the minute they tell me to do a full body scan i'm like y'all that upsets me it upsets me because <laughs> it's like what a mess it just looks messy and i hate that i want my audition tape to look good and i just and every audition is different so you might ask why don't you do one for every you know audition and just intersplice it well i did that for a little bit but then they're like no it has to be from the same day we need to see what you look like and then i gained a little bit of weight i'm like yeah they need to see what i look like so it's just like and you never know when these auditions are going to come in sometimes you have a few hours literally so, and if you're lucky you have a couple days i've gotten lucky the last two auditions they needed them on monday but that means that now i'm working over the weekend literally that's all i'm doing whether it's preparing setting it up breaking it down editing sending it it's a lot of hours that can go into each audition um you know at least a couple hours sometimes more if you have to prepare a lot a lot more <laughs> so um yeah it can be really tricky it can be really tricky so to all our casting director friends please understand you the other thing is when they ask us to embrace our environment to be in our apartment i had one that's like go in your backyard i don't have a backyard go um into your kitchen i don't have a kitchen sit on your sofa i don't have one of those <laughs> so that gets a little difficult as you know an actor you have to like work through that and um that's just real life casting directors agents industry personnel um the industry they're all really busy right everyone's really busy so it's not like i expect a thank you that you know they received it maybe like a, a blanket email to everybody they got just like added into like thank you so much for receiving this we received your um video I don't know i don't know i know it's a lot to ask but it was just so nice when i got those two responses and i was like wow like when you like submit the um like the we transfer or the dropbox or whatever it is casting director needs to see it in a different way sometimes it's a vimeo or a youtube link and i love it when it pops up with like a end screen that says thank you so much so and so has received your video we look forward to taking a look i'm like oh okay cool that will suffice but sometimes oftentimes most of the time this this career choice this profession disheartening at times and i am not trying to dissuade anybody from trying it and you know um you know beginning their efforts to start an acting career if that's what you really feel like you want to do um i just like to share the truth of what it's like and that's why you get such thick skin <laughs> you really do because because you're like okay i didn't hear from them that doesn't mean anything it just means that um next time and then when you get called back from the same office you're like yeah so it's not about like booking the job it's about booking 
the room. We don't go into rooms anymore. So it's about booking the office, right? So you want the same office to keep bringing you back. And I used to think that was like, oh my gosh, they keep bringing me back and I haven't booked. Oh my gosh, they're, they're gonna hate me. They're gonna, no, 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 no. That's a good thing. Let them keep bringing you back. That's a real good thing. That just means they're trying to make it work for you. They want to find a role that you can book and that you are close on the others. So I dig that. So whenever I get multiple requests for auditions from um, our beautiful casting directors who have so much on their plate and I get it, then I welcome it and I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. And it makes me want to like jump through more hoops to get them done. So, so I hope I gave you some nuggets. I hope I gave you some ideas on what to do if you find yourself in a really small apartment with no bare walls that you could use as your backdrop and i hope that you know that i will continue to be um doing more videos on acting and on my life here as an actor and on my life here and yeah <laughs> so stay tuned thank you so much for being here big love and um till next time what's up let's do this oh yeah let's do this Let's just get to it. Let's just get to it. Take 14. No, we don't get take 14. <laughs> You're lucky if you get two takes sometimes. That's it. That's sometimes all you get. And you got to get good at doing it in two takes just in case. Because if not, But you work up towards that. <laughs> Bye.